drug addicts, kooks, and general jack-offs that hang out there on that beach. I can't see good enough to tell if they're glued in or set in or what the heck they're in. Oh, I haven't had a tone like this in a long time. Going in. everybody um, I haven't been out in like six days after that six night marathon thing I did I was kind of poop so I didn't uh, go out I kind of took a rest I had to get my dad one night at the airport and some other stuff so um, today it's uh, the day after the holiday beach was crowded yesterday not as crowded as Santa Monica but I don't feel like going all the way there with all the drug addicts, kooks, and general jack-offs that hang out there on that beach. So, here at PB&J, low tide's at 6.30. See what I can find. If I pick up anything good, I'll give you a look at it, all right? Later. Well, kind of a really crappy target. I barely heard it. Yeah, down pretty far, it's a swatch watch. And I don't think, I don't know how waterproof these suckers are. But it doesn't look like it has water in it. Anyway, swatch watch. Sorry about the light, people. I don't have any more batteries. And of course, I got the camera on, so what am I going to find for the first coin target? A penny. Ah, of course it is. You know, as you're walking along out here, in this vast nothingness because I have dug absolutely nothing. I got two quarters up in the dry and one penny on the other side over there and other than that I have not uh, dug anything but two bobby pins and there's just nothing and you walk along and you get this crappy ass little signal and you dig down and you think it's really faint and deep and you put it in discriminate and it doesn't change and you dig it out and in the very top of the pile that you dumped out which I dumped out the first of it and it landed there and I spread it out right here up in that top little piece you find this little teeny earring <sighs> and it's just a little ball of stones who knows I can't see good enough to tell if they're glued in or set in or what the heck they're in so, anyway, you just never know, and there's just nothing much out here. And like I said, I got two quarters and maybe three pennies. And I've been here since four, and it's now six. 
so actually I've been here longer than that. I got here about 20 to 4. So kicking butt. On to the next. Well, I want to show you everybody. If you notice where the lifeguard tower is, right back there and right over here, about 10 feet in front of the lifeguard tower, you kind of uh, it's probably hard for you to see, but there's a little swale right along in front of the lifeguard tower, all the way down. That used to be a very steep, fairly significant drop. And if you notice now, there's no drop, and this beach is flat as a pancake out to wherever, Catalina. So there is so much sand on everything, you, there's nothing... I mean, I'm just basically wasting battery out here because I have found one penny since a half hour ago when I turned the camera on last. And up here, basically, there's nothing but the crap that people, you know, you're not supposed to have glass out here, but you find hundreds of beer bottles and hundreds of beer caps because they're too lazy to throw them away. But that's just how much sand is piled back up here on this thing because if you notice, way out here it used to be a drop all the way to the next lifeguard tower along that little swale right there you can and i know you can't see it very well but see the pile of seaweed just behind that it kind of goes up a little bit that whole strip along there this used to drop down really pretty pretty significantly and go out and then down there it was even steeper and just a continuous steep drop and up a slope and it's completely gone, filled in with sand. And uh, that's what we're dealing with here. So I can hardly wait for winter. Hopefully when winter gets here, it just beats this place silly. Because this if you notice the tide out there, that little teeny wave action like that, at high tide and low tide, it just brings in more sand, just keeps piling up the sand. And if when I get back under the pier, the cement pillars that I used to show you that were completely out of the sand are gone now. The rocks that were in front of the building over there are gone. So that's what we're dealing with here. And I'm going to turn around now and head back to the car, go get something to eat for breakfast and go home and go back to bed. Well, I haven't had a tone like this in a long time. Going in. Come on, something other than the damn pull tab. Oh, I see a nickel. Well, that's better than a pull tab. So, I got a nickel. A nickel. Sounded good. On to the next. Yeah, haven't had too many like this. The last one was that nickel way back over by the pier. And that's been an hour and a half ago. No, go that way, sand crab. Go that way. Penny. Well, I've pretty much dug absolutely nothing but pennies that whole way down there. Um, I got a quarter right there. There's another one. It's either that or a bottle cap. So I'm about 
almost back to the car. So this is trash or treasure. It's a dime. I got a dime. That's more than I've got in the last three hours. a nut. I got a nut. Woohoo, a nut. But anyway, I'm out of here. Alright, on to the wrap up. Oh, hello everybody quick wrap up from Newport this morning I don't know I got like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 pennies or so three dimes a nickel a buck and a quarter in quarters a hair clip two keys Keithy special key card to a room or something I don't know it's got that number on it and four little dots right there uh, a swatch watch that didn't have any water in it, but it's got sand in it. And that little crappy earring. And a cool shell. But that was it. So much for that. Another successful hunt, I suppose. Not. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, good luck, and happy hunting. See ya.